Hi, uh, this video, I'm gonna do a little introduction to PPPoE and how to configure PPPoE. So PPP, point-to-point -point protocol, is commonly used on serial links. Okay. But, and ISPs often wanna use PPP as the data link protocol over broadband DSL connections. Not all of them, but many of them do use PPP uh, over their, their DSL connection. Uh, because they want to be able to do remote assignment of the IP address and also do authentication uh, using CHAP. CHAP can be used to check like a customer account records and things like that on the back end. But however, Ethernet links do not natively support PPP. So what we do is something called PPP over Ethernet. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So PPP creates a PPP, PPPOE, <laughs> creates a PPP tunnel over the ethernet connection. So basically uh, the IP packet is encapsulated in PPP, a layer two protocol, which is then encapsulated over ethernet. Okay. The uh, ethernet frame is sent from the user's device through the router and then to the DSL modem. The modem actually strips off the ethernet frame, which then forwards the PPP packet uh, onto the ISP's router. Okay, as far as configuring PPPoE on Cisco IOS, we do something called a interface dialer uh, so here we've got interface dialer two, encapsulation PPP, and we're saying that the IP address is negotiated. Okay, so this is what's actually going to uh, create the tunnel, and we're going to negotiate the IP address. Uh, we're going to be configured for CHAP with our host name and password. Okay, on the physical interface of the router, we have PPPoE enabled. And then between the physical interface and on the dialer, we have, uh, we can see here on the physical interface, we say PPPoE client dialer, dial pool number, this one here must match dialer pool one here. And then we had IPMTU 1492. I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video. Uh, but but uh, you need to modify the IP MTU. We'll talk about that from 1500 to 1492. That'll make sense here in an upcoming video. Okay. But this is if you want to configure PPPoE using a Cisco router. Okay. So here we can actually verify that it is up. So we can see the configuration over here. We do show IP interface brief. Here's our dialer two with our IP address that was negotiated, okay? And it received it via IPCP. Remember that NCP and PPP? Wow, all these acronyms. <laughs> Network Control Protocol, part of PPP. Now this is PPP, it's just over ethernet. Okay. We can see on the uh, dialer two interface that it says the MTU is 1492. We'll talk about that more in a moment, that the encapsulation is PPP. And we can see a couple of uh, host routes were installed in the customer's uh, iOS routing table. Okay, this is the address assigned to the dialer interface and the IPv4 address of the ISP. Okay, so we have the dot one at the customer end, dot two at the ISP end that we see here. Okay. Okay, we can view the current PPPoE session, actually see the MAC address. And that's just a short introduction to PPPoE and configuring PPPoE. Of course, you have a DSL uh, router slash modem at home. This is all being done for you. But if you want to configure it using an iOS router, this is the uh, CLI commands, configuration commands you'd go through.